Next up on Howler for an Hour, we have Corsair's Madness. This is a game that's trying to be like a retro uh, sort of platformer. It kind of feels like it might be slightly inspired by Shovel Knight in a few ways. The story of this one, as far as I'm aware, is that we are a pirate captain. We shipwreck and our crew gets like kidnapped or lost or whatever. We got to go save them. So that's all piratey. It's a good types. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it, nothing too much more complex than that. It looked like it had pretty good gameplay from the trailer. So I wanted to take a look at it. It looked like it could be something interesting. But, uh, yeah, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers to do it. And I'd love to make this year the year we do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so because we'd love to have you. Also, I have a Discord server if you want to check that out. Pretty cool community there. And I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. But with that being said, there's no music on this screen for some reason. It might still be under development to some degree. I'd imagine that's why there's no music here. It feels a little curious that there isn't. But let's go ahead and start by playing as a Corsair. I'll figure out what the... I'll maybe check the whole p play as possessed thing later. I don't know what that is about yet. But we just start right up, apparently. So here's here's us. Die bird. Okay, never mind. Let's kill this chibi snake. There, did it. Press down while I'm blue pad. Oh. Apparently I can down stab. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is that just the shovel knight mechanic, technically? I, I want to say it is. Not that I don't- I don't mind imitation, though. I like how I go from my HUD. I shall attack my money. Press up and left trigger to throw an axe. Huh. Or just press- oh, just press that, okay. I have a number of charges, okay. Whoa. And those restore your mana, okay. Rip. Got him. My revenge. All right. Oh, death pit. I like. I like the little animation telling us. Down to pick a bomb. Okay, okay. You directly punt it sideways, got it. <laughs> nice, okay. Hello, we just started this this new game. This is Corsair's Madness. Can I destroy the checkpoint? Okay, I can. It's not too much like Shovel Knight. What's this? Looks like a doorway, but no, it isn't. Okay. Oh, water! Now watch out. I'm not. I'm water soluble. I'm a water soluble pirate. That would be like the worst job for you then. Second worst job. Oh shit, they shot twice, right? Oh my god! <laughs> I jumped too early. Ah! I'm gonna get an axe throw. There. Okay, now I'm almost dead. Woo. Now I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> My timing. At least we hit that checkpoint, yeah. I don't think we lost- did we lose money? I don't think we lost money. Hmm? 
You know what? Stop it. Oh, that was health right there. I could have used that a bit. Like, I could have used that literally a few feet from where I died. Oh, these guys are fast. Hold up. Okay. Just was curious, it looked kind of weird there. One Piece? The pirate theme makes... Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Figure out the start piece, figure out the end piece, figure out the others afterwards. There we go. It's interesting the backstory... The, the trailer actually talks about the backstory, but the game just kind of starts right up. I found that a bit odd. How does these guys really shuffle? The, wall, the hidden walls do have little tells, by the way. That bird looks really well animated. That's a well animated bird right there. Ow. Wait. Oh, right. <laughs> this looks very similar to the previous checkpoint room. I was a little confused. It looks like if I pick up money, it stays picked up. Big shovel knight vibes with those blocks of po yeah. This is, there's some there's some sh shovel knight to this. I would say. I wanted the coin. <laughs> I'm a pirate. I need them. What's this? Oh. Oh. I don't. Okay, so there's like a casual teleport forward mechanic. I guess. Did it cost me money or something? Oh god. Actually, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's find out, I guess. No? It doesn't cost anything. I don't see a reason not to use it. Ah. It costs you a blue bubble, does it? No, it doesn't. Damn it. <laughs> I see no reason not to use it. I will admit to being a wuss sometimes, it's fine. I might- okay. I do have to say that those- those little- those little- those little water ball things, they're slightly finicky. Just ever so slightly. Also, it may- it's- it's harder than looks to get around these birds. Because the knockback is pretty goddamn... Oops, well, her. The knockback is somewhat... aggressive. It makes me think of Cassavay a little bit. Oh, that water is harmless. Okay. I was avoiding this this whole time thinking it was dangerous. Try harder. Okay. Tried. Tried to try harder. What's that coin? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Money. <laughs> ah! See what I mean? Sometimes they're just not... 
as reliable as they seem. I guess I appreciate- no, it doesn't send you back to the screen you die, it sends you to particular checkpoints, I guess. Like, sub-checkpoints, like... Optional extra checkpoints in case you're dying a lot, maybe. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, I don't like the timing on that. Maybe I was just hold down to use that it would be so bad, but... That ain't how it works. Yeah, it's it's kind of finicky. Ah! I should have expected that. Fly beam. I can dash. In air, in air too. Good. Oh. Chest. Chest! It's okay, I'll find a way to kill myself. I don't lose money dying! Again. So I am I wanna be greedy. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we're good. Over here. Oh. That's a good question. That. What is that, you might ask? I don't know. <laughs> Got it, though. Make my way back is the question. Yes, I actually somehow can. It filled up the green thing at the bottom of my at the top of my screen. So that is the that's the weirdest downward stab of a sword I've ever seen in a video game. By the way, like that delay and everything. It's like that's very odd. Or Corsair, it's all treasure. Yeah, exactly. And I'll just take this boat. Oh, and then I'll uh, shoot people. That's, you know, the surfing skeletons gotta shoot those guys. The bad news bears. I did it. I stole all their money. Oh. I didn't quite do it. Oh, red guy. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. This seems potentially good. Oh, I should just shoot wildly. Oh, I'm, I'm like throwing. Wait, I have like disposable pistols right now. It's all good. Oh, that guy's a. Oh shit! Oh. So now I guess we're now playing to shoot him up. Okay. Worth it for the money. I'm a pirate, goddammit. Actually, yeah, we're just throwing our guns away. Like, fuck our guns, I guess. We just need a few. We don't need that many, I mean. We have a surplus of them, so just throw them away after them. them. Rocks. Okay. It's like a weird voice. Footlocks for single shot. I guess this is the way to rapid fire footlock. How do you rapid fire rapid fire footlock? 
You have multiple flip flops. Damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, there are checkpoints. Thank goodness, thank goodness for that. The better question is, where did I get all these flintlocks? <laughs> I sure have a lot of them, you know? This actually is pretty hard. I'm getting rich though, so it's okay. I guess slow down this seaweed. All right. Are, are we quite done with this section? It's quite. It's gone for quite a while. I love cans! Oh, cadets, yeah. I love those too. I want some, I want a tuna can though. Huh. Blockades now, good. Good to know. Because kids can be multi shot, question mark? One more. Pretty good shifty music. I will note. It's a pretty long song, actually. Nice. I think we finally finished the section. I can easily picture this on a Game Boy Advance. Okay, let's see. West Dog, more platforming. East Dog, more battles. I mean, I guess East Dog. So if, we, if I'm given the this is harder option and I'm streaming a game, I gotta pick it, right? Culverins are awesome handheld cannons. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> I wouldn't say the platform is the hard part, so. I wouldn't say that, I'm sorry, I would say the hard platform is the hard part. I wouldn't say the combat's the hard part. Oh, third tries the charm, I guess. All right, found another one of these. Okay. Guess I'm supposed to bring this somewhere. At least not a time limit, exactly. What would be so it would have been great if I missed the bomb throw at that point. There we go. Well, I have two of these now. I'm assuming one per stage.
Literally just a pipe that explodes, hopefully in that direction. That's an interesting way to, just, to put it, I like that. What? Not even sure how I contacted him, but alright. Okay, then contact with him. That's fine. Right, I have a dash. I kind of forgot I had a dash for a second. <laughs> I was actually kind of confused. That's also how I get over here. Down first? You do realize that's a death pit, right? I knew it. I had a feeling that there would be a trap with that. I knew it. I had a feeling. It just looked weird. Oh, like, it's a key, actually. I don't know what that does. Oh, I see. I needed it. <laughs> Never mind, mystery solved. Ow. Wow, this axe guy's a real pain in the butt. There we go. What are these birds dropping? I mean, one could assume one obvious thing, but it's really large, is all I have to say. Rocks? Yeah, I guess so. Huh, what's this? Where's this go? Interesting. A divide path for what? Hmm. Oh. I was wondering if we'd see a boss. You missed Seeker, probably. Probably from other docks. Actually, I think I think I think Car's right. After all, I East Dock and West Dock, and it, that was the. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Okay. Just don't worry about it then. I guess. Hey, <laughs> just get just get just wreck it while it's moving. I guess. Ah, we're, it's not done though. Okay. That makes it a little more of a challenge, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll give it that, it's... Oh, that's a lot more health. Right? Yeah, it's not too surprising that it does that. Tangles? No, oh, okay. Wasn't expected to attack the way it did there. Okay. I understand. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Congratulations! 
Thank you. You're successfully completed the demo level. Oh, this is a demo? I didn't even know that. <laughs> Total six groups clock at 203. Well, rank is A. I... Is this... That's interesting. There's... Is that really? Was it indicated that this was a demo? I think I got... Let's see here. What's this? A... I must check something. I got bamboozled. For those of you not aware, Hello for an Hour is a show where I typically play, unless I want to make an exception for a rule or whatever. Hello for an Hour is a game where I receive paid review keys and do a review on them. I give, I receive, basically, I receive for free a paid uh, a key that normally costs money. That is the transaction. That's the way I like to do it. I don't just play demos and free games on Hello for an Hour. At least not typically. I didn't make an exception with Bit with Bitgun earlier. That was that was a personal exception. However, I got this key on Woovit, and from all I could tell, it was a full game. Uh, <laughs> I think I got bamboozled. They sent me a. So here's the thing: a developer can send you a key on Steam for a demo as well as a full game. You know that thing you can also just download on the Steam page. You can receive a key for that, which looks it seem like you just received a paid copy. It's a nice demo. Don't get me wrong. I just, I just, I got, I just, I'm just like, oh, I got bamboozled. I don't believe the listing said it was a demo, so I feel a little annoyed at that. But uh, it does explain why it seems a little unfinished, I guess. Got my hopes up for so short. Yeah, that's the other thing. I, I tend to. If I think I'm going into full game, I usually present it differently. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'll check out the Possessed, though. Um, I could go back in and look for the secret, but I don't really care. It's just a demo. Who cares? <laughs> That's the other thing. Like, I feel, I feel more invested to trying to get secrets and stuff in a full release, too. I always contact the devs and ask them. Eh, it's... Yeah, I actually just need to check one thing. Hold on. I want to check to see if this was my error or, or not, because it's best to check that. Did I bamboozle myself? Let's see. Pending. Uh, accept it. Crosshair's mas madness. Play is blah, blah blah blah. Play is blah blah blah. It's Captain Sam. Mechanics. Crosshair's madness. Nope. Not. There wasn't a single little bit of information on Woovit where I was accepted the key. None of the information said anything about it being a demo. <laughs> Just double check that. So, uh, well... I mean, I understand. The game's not finished, so it's a demo for now. That's fine. However, maybe tell people you're giving them a demo, rather than a full game, uh, if you're trying to get keys out to people. Just just a thought. It's, it's definitely more polite. Let's play as Possessed. Alright. Well, it, it does have a Steam page where you can download the demo. So one could argue, oh, Charm, well, it says download demo on the, on the game page, and it says it's not released yet. That doesn't mean necessarily that I couldn't get a, a, an early pre-release copy. There have been many times where a game is only available as a demo or not available at all, but I still receive a key for it, and it's a pre-release, you know, press key. So I, I, even if there, even if there is just a demo on a page, I don't necessarily assume that what I'm receiving is a demo, unless it is explicitly stated. So we're playing as the possessed now. I believe the I believe the trailer indicated that Corsair would turn into this at times. Oh, okay. That's an attack. It looks like. It is. Also seems to dash right at enemies. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I do like the game. It's just, uh... Let's just say that for Hall for an Hour, I've done over... What? This is... this is I think this is episode 742 of Hall for an Hour. If, if by, my, by my measures. And at this point, I, I can safely say, having played many games at this point, that, yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve. Just, uh... <laughs> when developers give me a demo when I think I'm being presented with a full product. It's happened a few times, unfortunately. <laughs> it 
it's I don't I don't consider it like a malicious thing. I'm not like saying all oh, the de the developers were trying to trick me. No, I, I think a lot of developers just don't realize that that's sort of important to note. Because here's the thing: when when somebody accepts a, a key for your game, they're they are indebting themselves. You know, they are admit they are going like, all right, I'm gonna cover this. You know, I'm gonna do this. Right, you have to hit that. It's a melee attack, though. It's not jump on them. I like the uh, Corsair. It's very nice, nice for this guy. I can feel that too. Also, hi, Esther. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm the sort of takes key requests seriously. If I receive a review key, specifically, if I if I accept a review key, if I if I request one, or if I get offered one and accept. It is at that point I am indebted. I am I have personally mentally indebted myself to covering that game, basically. If that makes sense. I have a standard. I, I if I if I've accepted a review key, I cover it. Whether that is by my requesting it or by a, a developer offering it and me accepting it. Um. And when it comes to things like Keymeller and Move It and Indie Boost. These are key distribution platforms. If it's an off-the-cuff over email thing, that's one thing, but with those platforms, those platforms, uh, they track your progress, right? So if I don't cover a game I received on those websites, that kind of look that kind of reflects bad on me. I have a gun. I do. I think I was supposed to use another lamp, but. So that's why I do call it kind of game bamboozled. Because, uh, with these key distribution sites, if I officially accept a key through the platform and I don't cover it, then that's I'm going to be one of those people marked as unreliable if I do it too much, you know? Yeah, I basically... Now, granted, I don't mind covering free games. I do it all the time in other series, but... When it comes to specifically Howler for an hour, this is just how I like to operate. I like to give my official first impressions review, whatever you want to call it, specifically in response to a game key that normally would cost money. Because the idea of Howler for an hour is, let me review this game for you and tell you if you should spend money on it. Let me play this a while and let you guys know my thoughts, like, oh yes, you should grab this game that costs money, or you shouldn't. Because, like, if it's a free game, it's like, whatever, just check it out, there's no risk, right? There's no risk revolved if somebody wants to check out a uh, free game. So, me telling you whether or not you should buy something doesn't really apply to a free game, obviously. <laughs> like, just go check it out if you're interested, there's no there's no risk factor. But there is a risk factor if something costs money. So the Hell for an Hour is basically here to serve, to basically review weird, obscure, Steam and otherwise uh, paid games, and basically let you guys know what the game is. Just maybe play it all the way through if I feel like it. Sometimes so that happens, like with Dots. Um, if I've enjoyed it, you know. If I'm enjoying a game, I'll just play it. But otherwise, I usually stick to the hour and just try to give you guys something to consider whether or not you want to buy it yourself. But yeah, all that. That doesn't have a point for, like, playing a free game like this. This is not... It's still a Howler for an Hour episode because I got kind of, you know, I, I set up... I set myself up to play it for... Under the impression that it was a paid key, but... So I am, you know, gonna do it, but... All the same. Oh, this guy's taking a lot of hits. I don't like them very much. Get out of here. I have to point out his dash doesn't immediately recharge. That has killed me once because I wasn't I was impatient. It does let you know the little flame effect it tells you. Huh, I could jug I could kinda juggle myself on that, that's interesting. But yeah, as far as actual game review, it's a little there's a little I can see some rough points on this, but 
it is it does seem pretty solid so far yeah I gotta say this character plays a bit better oh my god all the way back here that's good seems like the uh, what was this called the possess plays a little more roughly like oh they, they their, their levels are harder that's what I mean Actually, wait, did I lose progress? Yeah, I totally did. I have to do the... Gotta do this all over again. That's lame. Hey, get over how adorable you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it is really cute, isn't it? Big and squish. <laughs> I feel like this level goes out a little long without a checkpoint. What do you guys think? Oh, I just realized. <laughs> I just realized I was supposed to hit that first and then and then dash. Oof. Dash saved me from a hit there, nice. Oh my god, I thought I wasn't gonna make that jump. And I was like, oh, if I don't make this jump, I gotta go all the way back. <coughs> that would've sucked. Hand. I have gained hand powers. Oh my god, what? I see. That answers that question. Let me just... There. I understand. I want to hand them. I don't know if that would do anything, but I want to try it. I want to hand you! Oh yeah, you can attack them if you do that. Well, that solves that question. Ow. How rude. Oh no. Ah! Everything's abusing me. Tell him to stop. At least I got one heart back. I... does your hand refresh fast enough for that? Okay. Let's see. I don't know, here's how quickly it refreshes. That doesn't seem long enough to jab the second ring. How the fuck do you do that? Yeah, this level's pretty tough.
Maybe Skippy the Ring, sure, why not? It refreshes when you hit a ring. Oh, does it? Or I could just do that because I didn't trust it. I will grab you. Let me grab you. I grabbed you. Do that. Okay. Uh-huh. Am I supposed to... Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Give me no time to react. That's one way to do it. <laughs> I guess that works. Good night to you, car. Stop. <laughs> what strategy would that guy have? I kind of messed it up, whatever it was. Oh, well. <laughs> this last enemy doesn't get. This last enemy just is not important, apparently, to open the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Oh, you're right. It does recharge. Nice. That's the wrong direction, me. My slashes are a little lazy, so sometimes I can face the wrong direction. There we go. Oh, hi. Timing the grab is confusing to my brain. Since it does have a time where it comes out, you know? Ah. Uh, the checkpoints are so far apart in this, I, I'm starting to feel annoyed. One fucking pitfall and you've lost, like, five minutes of progress, which is... Doesn't sound very bad, but it kind of is. I feel like this is less weirdly expansive, more than this is just a really... I mean, it's not bad for a demo, I'm just, like, noting that... I feel like more of more of it's just this level's very hard and I'm not making progress fast through it fast. These deaths really reset some of my progress, so. The good old days where you lost all progress. You have to use it. So he's ready for that generous. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. I don't know if you noticed, but I hit the lamp, but it didn't really give me any height, and I was like, why? Well, I really bungled that up. All right, there we go. Another checkpoint. Boss find? Boss time, rather? Boss. Did I find a boss? Boss find. Hi. Just look at the big fish caught in my nets. Well, old captain, I've been waiting for you. 
You have changed a little. What, has Dibble blessed you with power? Fabulous. Well, Cap, don't hold yourself back. Let's have some fun. Show me what you are capable of. Do you have any other words you want to say before I kill you? <laughs> Absolutely useless. But please, do not despair. It's not over you yet. I'll give you the opportunity to escape. The disappointment, Cap. Let's have some fun. I'm over here, though. Okay, well. Oh, unfortunate. How unfortunate. I pressed the wrong button. It's worth noting I'm not terribly good at all the mechanics. <laughs> this feels like a much later level, technically. Nice of him to wait. What? Thank you. Well, that's rude. I'm surprised I didn't die. Okay, um, keep going. Oh my god. Thank you. Am I still on a time I really can't tell right now. It just kind of fucks off into Bobble's pits now and then. Well, I guess I made it. Well, I made it partially. This really just just keep going, doesn't it? Oh, was I supposed to see that ring? I just kind of did a tricky jump instead. Yeah, it, it feels... This game feels relatively okay, but, like, sometimes it's glitchy. Like, sometimes I hit these lamps and they don't send me upwards. There's a little bit of jank still. I guess not bad for a demo, but... You really need your actions to be very slick and responsive and reliable in a game like this. Up the top of the roof. Not right. I'm not sure I have time for you right now. Thank you. Ah. Like I just keeps popping up and causing me issues. <laughs> Fucking right. Congratulations. Successfully completed another demo level. Okay. Now go to another level if you haven't tried. What does that mean? That's a weird that's weird English, but okay. <laughs> if you haven't tried, go to the level. Um So yeah, I don't know. This isn't bad so far anyways, but I can't give it a full review since it is a demo, and that's part of the annoyance with what I was saying earlier. However, for an hour, I'd like to give a good general first impressions that might help you form a general opinion for the whole game. But I can't really do that with a demo, and so that kind of falls flat. Um, I think it's pretty solid so far, though. If they... A few things need polish, but I trust me, i played a lot less polished platformers on Halo for an hour. So by comparison to a lot of those, this is much more polished than that. There's a little refinement here and there. Some inputs could be more responsive, some actions could be less glitchy. 
very, it's not that glitchy, but even just having the occasional mishap with a mechanic uh, due to a glitch can really affect an experience like this, especially with an action, you know, platformer. Um, but it does seem like it has a good thing going for it so far. Uh, I wish the developer well on developing it further. And, uh, yeah, I guess that was Corsair's Madness.